Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival Season 2. In the last episode, we started the construction of base Delta version 2.0. <laughs> um, and we started very poorly, I'm going to say. Well, I started very poorly. Th this floor, it, it, I hate it. <laughs> I actually hated this floor. Um, so we're going to change that. We are going to continue the process of building uh, base Delta. Now I just want to say thank you all for all the comments in the last video. Um, I probably haven't seen them all because I'm actually recording this the day after that video got out. Um, but thank you all for all the suggestions. Keep them coming because uh, I can always make additions to this. They were very helpful, so thank you. Um, anyways, by the way, in between episodes I got a few more resources. I got some warped stem, some chrism stem, also got some iron bars and some more quartz. Hopefully it's gonna be enough, if not... I can always get more. These guys have been so annoying. Like super annoying. So the sooner we get something up and going that can actually protect us from these guys, the better. Because they just keep multiplying. Did I just hear a chicken? I see a chicken. <laughs> Yeah, they're a rare sight. Anyways, we're gonna get started here. Actually, one of the suggestions, uh, a very long suggestion actually, was from Gravity15, who suggested that we actually put a tower here, which I think that is an excellent idea. So, I can actually, yeah, I kind of like the idea of a tower, though it would kind of hinder the view from here, so we'll have to see. Um, but I really like the idea of a tower there, and it kind of fits with that natural structure of basalt. But anyways, I need to dig out a bunch of this. I actually don't know how much of this I need to dig out. Um, like, I don't know how far in I want this to go, but I'm imagining at least two over there. So, I'm gonna get to work at digging. This is potentially gonna be a time lapse, so uh, yeah, see you at the end of it. Alright, so far so good. I think this is the area that I will stick with for now. It is pretty big and I like it and oh hi. I forgot I didn't have my shield up. Um, yeah, you're gonna be an issue, buddy. Okay, there we go. No longer an issue. <laughs> um, I stumbled upon this like lava, lava place right here and I think we might use that. I don't know for what, but I'm definitely gonna keep it here. Um, at least for right now. Again, I don't know for what but shoot me suggestions down below in the comments. Anyway, I do actually want to lower the floor by one because I really want to keep this here because again, I want this to be feel like it is part of the terrain. So I want this here. If I pull out another layer up here to make room for the ceiling and maybe some more bits and bobs, then yeah, nah. Uh, is it that I like a higher taller ceiling than this so i think we will actually be lower the lowering the ground here a little bit and like i said these guys just keep on coming in and get in the way <laughs> i didn't anticipate all these guys showing up though um but they're fine they're, they're not hostile they don't get in the way as such but these guys are just annoying anyways i'll see you when the floor has been lowered
All right, you may be wondering why I lowered the floor here by two blocks, but that is because, of course, we want the actual floor in here. And then we also want the ceiling, which I am hoping will consist of slabs, so that we will still get more than just three blocks of uh, roof. So if the floor is here, then we would get one, two, three, and then three and a half block of uh, roof, so we still don't need to take out this basalt right here. So I think this is going to work fairly well. Um, I just need to empty my inventory real quick and then we need to figure out something to do with the floor. Um, this is going to be quite interesting. Do I have more of this stuff? I do. Please tell me I can make that into slabs. Can I? Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, right. I don't know what to do here. I was thinking a blackstone pattern going all of the way around, like a border, and then the quartz in the middle, and then figure out some detail thing. But I'm not quite sure about that plan anymore, because yeah, I'm just thinking here, because it was also suggested that I tried uh, incorporating crimson stem in maybe instead of warp stem or a bit of both, and I'm not sure how I would do that. I'm thinking like the outside pillars and stuff like that could be made with that. I don't quite know yet. Um, I guess we shall find out. But anyways, let, uh, let's let's just... Mm -hmm. Thinking about it, since we would need a wall right here, this doesn't have to be... Bl uh, let's go for it. <laughs> let's go for it. I need to place it this floor here. Hopefully everything will go according to plan. Actually, the blocks that are not going to be shown outside uh, that doesn't even make sense I wanted to do that yeah I'm gonna do that we can always yeah we need we need to save on materials okay <laughs> now the, all these guys that are now down here they're gonna have to move I may have to forcefully do it which is not gonna be good because I'll be swarmed but let me place down this floor and I'll be right back. Give me one pickaxe before someone picks it up. Okay. And that gas, if you didn't notice it, I fought a gas and that gas, it, it just disappeared. It just disappeared out of nowhere. Super, super rude. Is this supposed to be this far out? I don't know. Guess it is. Guess it is. Uh, right, I still needed to go out that way, yes, I don't know how far though, I think maybe, yeah, see here we will need to use the actual bigger blocks, here as well actually, because here they will be seen from the outside, so that is something we gotta do, there we go, so how far out do I want this, I definitely want to add something down here other than just support pillars, maybe I want to add some more basalt and stuff like that, I'm thinking one more out and then that should be good, maybe. Yeah, I think this should be alright for now. So let me fill all this in with quartz. I don't think there is anything else I want to fill it in with. Quartz, I can actually put them into slabs. I can't put anything else into slabs, really. And then we'll figure out some sort of pattern. So let me do that. Alright, I'm happy I chose the quartz as well, because I really like the way it actually looks here. Um, I would really like this to be somewhat symmetrical as well, actually. If we do need to have this here, I would not mind it being a little bit more symmetrical. Yes, because then we can actually add something over here, maybe like steam or smoke coming up or something, I don't know. But I like the look of this. I like the look of this so far. Yeah, I like it. Now, as to what pattern we should have in the floor, I definitely want some sort of decoration. I have no idea what it should be. But... I'm thinking... Since this is basalt, all of it, and we're kind of inside it, maybe we could have some basalt pillars on the inside going up here and there. Maybe with polished basalt. How would that look? How do I forget how polished basalt looks compared to normal basalt. Oh yeah. 
this looks so much smoother. So, whoops, maybe we can implement that somehow. Now I know we still need to add the roof, but just as an example, or an experiment, I guess. And then of course something up here as well. I think that something like that, maybe not exactly this, but something like it, I think could be kinda cool. Especially if we add maybe some lamps and stuff like that to it. I'm gonna leave them in just as a way of getting inspiration maybe to something in the future. Um, that's two blocks away, that's one block away, so that's two, that's one. So we would need another one over here just to have it symmetrical. I don't want one over here because this is in the open and whatnot, but this kind of would help the basalt keep itself stable. I kind of like it, you know. So I think I'll leave it for now. I actually want to try something real quick because I have both warped wood and I have crimson wood. So I would like to try out different fences and lamps just to see which one would look the best. Where's my lamp? So if we undo this one, for example, used warped. This could solve our lighting issue. If we did something along the lines of that. I really just think the warped wood really fits in better with the... It's older, but then again, the crimson does too, actually. But like something like that. I kind of like this. I definitely want to use the, the lanterns because I haven't I have so many of them and I haven't actually used them for something yet. So this would be an excellent way of using them. Definitely lights things up. And it's out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that for now. I think I like how that is looking. Alright, next we need to work on the exterior wall which is going to be facing outside and the wall that's going to be over here. I don't know if I want different kinds of walls. But um, I guess we're gonna find out. Of course, we still need an entrance, but I think I'm gonna start with this wall right here. Now, I don't want to use any of the basalt because we already have plenty of that in the surroundings, so I don't really fancy using that. Um, but having some quartz is probably gonna be good. Okay, so I actually still have some quartz, that's good. Now, I do want to experiment with this idea of using crimson wood because I kind of like it, but at the same time, I just feel like it's so much brighter and fits in more with the white and such, but let's go for it. Let's see. This is, this is, uh, what's it called? Base Delta version 2.0 after all, right? This is another thought though. Do I want the wall to start here or do I want the wall to start one block out? That is something. Do I want to see this on the inside or not? That is actually a very important detail, and I think I'm gonna move it to the outside, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think it might look better if I started outside. That magma really, really wants to kill me. You will not be an issue, though, because you will just disappear right now. Thank you. Right, so now these are just floating. To make it look better, we definitely need some black stone stairs because that will definitely make it look better, I think. So let's make some stairs like that and let's experiment with it over here. Placing them like this, upside down. So we continue the black stone, but we make it look smoother. Smoother? Uh, eh? Aha! That actually worked. Hey, hey. All right. I kind of like that, actually. That's not too bad. Now, what would we put inside? We definitely want windows, of course. And it was suggested that I try maybe using iron bars, which is why I have them right here. Um, so maybe we'll try that. Now, first, I've got to figure out how I want the wall to be. I actually kind of like where this is going. I think we could have another pillar right here. Of course, we'll need to figure something else out over here. Or maybe not. Maybe we just do that. But then again, I kind of... Mm, maybe I'll extend the balcony even. I don't know yet. 
I don't know, but for now... Oh, they break instantly. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> now, for over here, I definitely want, like, a fence balcony type thing, so I'm not gonna do that just yet. I just don't want it to look like a prison <laughs> with the iron bars here. I don't know. I... They fit. That's the thing, they fit, but I don't want it to look like a prison. Which I'm kind of, sort of getting the feeling of. How would they look with holding the lanterns, actually? Eh. Eh. A little bit less out of the way. Or more out of the way, I guess. How did you get in? Not anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of like where this is going, though. I'm kind of liking where this is going. I just don't know if this is too flat. That definitely removed the, some of the flatness that I felt. I think though I might want to move them up. Also I'm using warp just to experiment because these two colors, even though they're the opposite of each other, they actually work quite well I feel like together. Yeah, how did you get in here? Oh, you're a, you're a small one, okay. That's an option too actually. I'm gonna leave them like that for now. Uh, but the things are a little bit hard to to say without the roof in. So I think I'm gonna begin working on the roof a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be much different than the floor to begin with. But mm, I don't know. A way you really know if a game is immersive is if your neck starts hurting even though you don't look up at all but you look up in game. <laughs> Anyways, um, I kind of left this bit right here because I'm thinking and I want to hear your guys' opinion down below in the comments. Um, I feel like it's almost a wasted opportunity not to leave in some of the basalt. At least somewhere. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I'm gonna cover it up for now. But let me know if you have any other ideas down below in the comments with the roof. Because I feel like it's almost a wasted opportunity not to have some basalt showing somewhere. I don't know. But I really feel like this is taking shape. Uh, I would like though. I feel like it would be nice to have like that 3D effect. Maybe like that? I'm gonna try that, let you know again what you think. But I would just like it to be a little bit 3D maybe. And then over here, I was thinking we could have maybe the same pattern as down on the floor, but sticking through. Like this. Like so. That's gonna be an annoying one to pull. Uh, eh. And, nope, wrong one. <laughs> wrong basalt. Maybe like that? That looks dumb. That looks even worse. What am I doing? I think that should work for now. Just adding in those small bits there. I think that will do just fine. Like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then over here, of course. I must say, I really like the way this is shaping. And I think I like the use of warp wood, actually. Um, now, of course, it is not done on the outside, of course. We want light here, and we want other stuff as well. More decorative stuff, and also for it not to be so flat. Need to figure out something. Maybe extend it out even more on the outside. We could actually have maybe like a path we could walk on the outside. Then we could have a little bit of a roof. Yeah, I think that might be an idea. Maybe this is a door to that. Mm. Now, let's take a little bit of a look on top here. Right, 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 right. This obviously needs to look a little bit prettier. <laughs> I'm thinking stairs, blackstone stairs, and then something. I don't know what. I'm kind of keen on just leaving it like this. Maybe we can have something up here. 
some space for something, I don't know. But I think we are out of time for this episode, and I think it is a good point for me to call it, because then I can hear you guys' suggestion. I want suggestions with this, I think I might have an idea. Um, but let me know with the roof, if you have any ideas for the roof, and also maybe for the windows. But also, what do you think of having like a balcony area right here? That we can walk out on and have the roof um, maybe slope down and then we can walk out here. And this I need to think of as well. And I still really like the idea of the tower. So maybe we'll have like maybe a staircase going down from this place. Maybe a bridge over from the balcony. I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities. So shoot all your ideas at me down below in the comments. They're really, really, really appreciated. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to be it for this episode. I really, really hope you have enjoyed. Again, thank you for all the feedback and suggestions in the last episode. I will still be looking at them. As I said, the video got out to yesterday and there might come more after this recording. But I will still be looking and will be taking them all into consideration. I hope you are liking where Base Delta 2.0 is going to. I really do. But yeah, have a wonderful day and goodbye.